All right, so new, I tested the uh, horn and armor against Rek'Sai, and you can beat her now with horn and armor. Right, normally you would not able to do that because uh, she just does take, doesn't take any damage, right? But now, now you do with the new lethal tempo. So the whole thing about Rek'Sai, you win extended trades, but you lose short trades, right? There's two ways to fight her, right? You can either smack her and run away before she can stack up her fury and bite you for true damage. That's one way. That's like the Darius method. Or you can fight her like Garen, where she just unloads all of her cooldowns on you and runs away because she does no damage without cooldowns. But you keep fighting her when her cooldowns are down, right? Either method is effective, right? Overall, overall, <clears throat> you're better off with Garen type of method, where you extend the trades. Remember, you one, outscale her, you outscale her, right? Number two, on full fury, she has no chance to beat you at all. At all, right? So, what you can do is you can basically play passive early, and she's not going to do a lot of damage because of your horn. And then let her push, stack up your fury, and you win the game. That's it. Basically, condition here, you get full fury, you win the game. That's it. Right? And that's about it. Right? So, just, just, just think about it this way. On full fury, you win the game. So, you need to stack up full fury and create a condition where you can run her down all the way to her turret. Now, the good news, the good news is that most Rek'Sai players still think it's season 12, so, so they think they're gonna one-shot you, and they normally don't take flash. If they don't take flash, just let them push, and you just run them down. And that's it, with full fury. Even with half fury, you still win. Because you win extended trades against her, right? She can only win if she can uh, kind of do short trade, run away, short trade, run away. Then she wins. But if you... Let her push, get half fury, land your W, or the best possible scenario is, right, you get half fury, you walk up to, let's say, get a health relic, she attacks you with her unbarrow, right, she unloads her cooldowns and she tries to run away. At that point, you land your W in here, right, she's gonna borrow and she's gonna... Uh, get to here remember she's now slowed with your w you click on ghost you ignite her and you literally right click her all the way to here you'll have two spins because with half fury you're probably gonna crit twice or three times and that will reset your spin right so what you do is you get health relic she fights you right she fights you here right she tries to run away you w you e into her she cannot knock you up because you have immunity for 30 seconds or 20 seconds. Because she can only knock you up one time for 20 seconds. And you literally, literally run her down. You need to space your auto attacks really well. So you do not waste them. Right? You want to land as many auto attacks as possible. And that's it. This is basically kind of like a hybrid between uh, beating Rengar and Garen. I never talk about beating Garen because it's so easy. Garen basically, he unloads all of his cooldowns, and then for 6 seconds or 5 seconds, he's totally useless. You can just literally continue to fight him after his cooldowns. Because he does like 50% of your damage during his cooldowns. And past that point, for 6 seconds, you are practically immune to any damage he does. Because he does no damage outside of his cooldowns. So this is exactly the same. This is exactly the same. The only difference in here is that she can escape a lot better than Garen, right? And her burst is a little bit scarier than Garen's, right? Because um, in Garen you can kind of spin out because if, if he does... Um, like, she basically she's basically Garen with escape that does a little bit more damage. And that's about it. Yeah, let's just treat it as Garen, right? You get half fury... You land your W, and you all in her, and that's it, and she dies. She can't, she can't fight you on half you, right, anymore, because the game has changed. It, it used to be normally, like, she would pretty much one-shot you, honestly. Like, you, I even tried the uh, horn a long time ago, I remember, she would still one-shot you. <laughs> so the only window, the only window to beat her used to be 
if she makes a mistake, and that's it. Right? She misses her knockup, or she tries to fight you on low fury. It was something to do with her making a mistake. But now you can you can just beat her, no problem, right? So uh, so new update. Like you can't go horn. I think it's a little bit easier. I think it's easier, right? So if you're a beginner, this is the tactic, right? This is the tactic. Um, you don't do that. This was just me testing. You just sit here, you farm, you let her push, right? Because she's gonna try to harass you. So she's gonna push, get half fury, go walk up to the relic. She's gonna fight you. Uh, she's gonna retreat after unloading all of her cooldowns, right? So here's the tactic, right? You're here, the minion wave isn't here, you have half fury, right? Uh, the relic comes up at 145. You go, you take the relic. She's gonna most, because this is, you have to remember, this is a child, most likely playing the game. So he will not resist the temptation to unload all of his buttons on you. So he goes in, he unloads all of his buttons, you fight back, right? Then he goes and borrows, he tries to run away, you land your W, you spin into her, activate ghost, ignite, and just right click her to death. That's it, that's the tactic, okay? So one more time. She pushes the wave, you get half fury, relic comes up, you take the relic, she's gonna unresistibly fight you, right? She tries to run away, so when she's fighting you, smack her too, right? Fight fight back, but do not use your cooldowns, do not use your cooldowns, right? She's gonna unbar or run away after she unloads her cooldowns, you W, you spin into her, you can activate ghost right now already, activate ghost, spin into her, and ignite her and just right click her to death and that's it that's the tactic okay that's it now you can do it with both with hammer or you can do it with um horn i think horn is a little bit more beginner friendly because it has uh it has room for error right it has room for error whereas with guardian hammer you are a lot squishier and if you don't land enough crits, you might be in trouble, right? So you need to kind of have full fury, honestly. You need to have full fury. But I'll experiment. Right now, I think Horn is more beginner's friendly, in my opinion, right? And that's about it, all right? So just remember the, um, well, just one rule. You win long trades if you have at least half fury, and that's it. One rule. If you have half fury, you win long trades. And that's it. Take care.